My name is Monica. I'm doing the presentation about Chile with Holly Kennedy and Erica Olson. Chile is a country that has a narrow strip. It's located between the North Pacific Ocean and the Andes Mountains. Chile's flag is very similar to the United States flag. It has the same colors, red, white, and blue. The two horizontal bands at the top are white and red with a blue square with a white star. It represents blood spilled for its independence. The economic status and training partners of Chile they have a strong policy and are given sovereign bounds. Reacting in South America, Chile has a market oriented for the economy. Chile's trading partners are for export. As you can see, they do a lot with China, only 12% with the U.S. Their import partners are Again, China, 20%, and the U.S. is only 20% also. Export and import details. They export about $76.98 billion. Their export commodities are fruit, fish products, wine, and pulp. The import commodities are petroleum, industrial machinery, and natural gas, to name a few. The currency exchange, just a little bit of education for your learning pleasure. I'm a global business student, so here I explained the currency, one U.S. dollar, if I was exchanging it for a Chilean peso. And when commercial banks do currency exchanges, of course, they need to make a little bit of money. So I broke down what the bank would be bidding for and what the ass bid would be. And I did my math there at the bottom. So you can see, you know, how the bank can make a little bit of money. Their measurement system in Chile is metric. And I found this very interesting. They drive in kilometers per hour instead of miles per hour. The holidays in Chile, I found this to be very interesting, is Reformation Day. It's not always celebrated on the same day. I kind of took the holiday similar to our maybe 4th of July. The language they speak, 99.5% are Spanish speaking. And 67.7% of the population is Roman Catholic. General etiquette for meals is you always keep your hand visible when eating. Your wrists are resting on the edge of the table. You always keep your utensils set to eat. Etiquette for business meetings. I just thought this would also be a fun fact, is keep your cards in good condition. A tatty card reflects bad on you. That would make sense. I like that point. Pay attention to hand movements, gestures, changing. Changes have different meaning in the culture. Chile's corruption rate. is 39 and there's 75 uh, they rank 73 in total on the index so 39 is a good number. the Chilean population believe church is important the Roman Catholic is the number one practice religion they have 604 congregations and I was pretty amazed at how colorful they paint their churches. 
And of course, they have some very old, very, very old churches. Family and work life in Chile. Extended families are very close. They frequently have ma uh, major um, celebrations together. Family and business are very often connected. Many have small businesses and run by their families. Oh, here's a really good interesting point. Divorce became legal in Chile in 2004. Core beliefs and values. Children have close ties to their parents. Hard work is very important to the Chilean value system. General etiquette. Man, men usually shake hands. I'm going to bomb this word, but I'm going to do the best I can. Cordadillo. I thought it looked like a pretty interesting dish to try. It's made of potatoes, carrots, cilantro, onion, garlic, and served with a marinated boiled on fried conquer. It's a classic soup. Main, main do's and taboos in the country. Talk about positive aspects of the Chilean economy, shake hands when you give eye contact, show interest in others, taboos definitely don't if you're in Chile, don't patronize the citizens or other persons in the public com conversation, do not point at other people, it's considered rude. Concerns of doing business in Chile? Uh, getting credit in the electricity in Chile can be a struggle. So you definitely need to have electricity if you're running a major retail business. Obtaining permits can be a very long, dragged out process. Chile's interesting facts. Divorce in Chile was Legalized only in 2005, the country has the lowest divorce rates globally. Along the mountain regions of Chile, there is about 1,300 volcanoes, and a number of them are still active. And also, this is an interesting fact, they've got 20 Olympic swimming pools that hold over 66 million gallons of water. Uh, the pool is in the Guinness Book of World Records, and the deepest is 115 feet. The southern area of Chile is known for being over 4,000 years old. And there's our references. Thanks for listening to our presentation, and have a good day. Bye.